All right, hey, just a quick video on how I uh, set up my solar panels on my Luna. Um, these are flexible panels by Renogy. These are 100 watt each, so obviously I have two of them. And then I have these going to two batteries, which um, I'll show in a bit. But um, basic idea, because they're flexible, you don't want to mount these or glue them directly to the roof because they'll get too hot. As you can see, they're really, really thin. Um, they do a good job of output, but you have to uh, watch these. So basically what we're doing is that on both sides. So you see I have a track down there, and then I have the track screwed to the roof, which some people may not want to do. Um, other people will screw, uh, not screw, they'll, they'll actually glue it with adhesive. This is Sikaflex, Sikaflex adhesive that goes down here and seals. I've got it screwed right there. And then there's one more screw right here. So just two per track. Um, these are 48 inch tracks. I got them from Amazon. I have a link for that. Um, the hardest thing about this, honestly, is, is getting this bend right. If you look at the roof, it's curved. And the reason I went with flexible is because I wanted these to rest flat up against the roof as much as possible and not have drag when I'm towing. Um, I also think that having the angle with this particular design is somewhat helpful over flat because um, just using them so far, it seems like I'm catching a lot of sunlight even in partly cloudy conditions. So I like the fact that I can just leave them somewhat on a curvature and the way they're designed, they kind of optimize where the angle of the light's coming from. So for both those reasons, I did, the, I did these, the flexibles. Um, but again, bending the track here, that's the most important part. You just gonna have to get something. This is aluminum. It's pretty flexible, but it's trial and error until you get the first one right, and then you just copy that. So uh, going over the construction, this is just half inch uh, foam insulation like you'd use on the side of a house. Um, that fits just right to the top of the track here. And basic idea is you get these uh, hex bolts which fit in there and they slide. Um, this particular panel has a grommet on all four corners. It's already drilled. All I did is I removed the grommet so that my screws would fit in there. And then I just had to drill one additional right here in the middle. There's no wiring in there. This is all just fiberglass. Then once you have that, um, you can slide it up into place. And then I did this, I get this at any hardware store. I just stripped of aluminum that rests over the top of it. And then I screw right to there. So I'll show you on the other one. You can see it just goes down over the top. I think that just cleans it up and it doesn't create a, a pressure point right there. Um, if you really want to do what I did, just for some aerodynamics and to keep the rain out, I just did some uh, aluminum angle iron and put it across the front there. You can see on the other one there. Um, just to keep rain, a lot of rainwater from getting underneath there. Um, the Sikaflex is good. It's made for RV roofs. Um, that's all this right here. So after I drilled my holes, I just put a huge bead of that down and I pushed this on top. So there's no way um, water's gonna get around that. Other benefit to this system, um, besides it laying close to the roof, is that it can be removed. So if I want to clean underneath these panels, um, I can do that. It's pretty easy. It's just six six bolts here on each one, and the whole thing comes apart. So I like that. Um, I went for my power wiring. I went through here. I got one of these guys. You can see all my wiring there. Um, but this is the only place that it came in goes down through there again sikaflex all the way around and then it came i went back through here so i could remove the speaker so i could work but i came up through through the roof drilled through went down it goes down behind the microwave if you take the microwave out you can see everything it's going to come down it goes down into my battery compartment here it's these guys coming in here both of these and then they go to my controller and I have two batteries here. So um, what I found so far is that I can go, um, let's see, what did I have? I can go three days is what I've estimated on just partly sunny, 
for three, four hours straight, and they'll charge these back up pretty quickly, and um, I've been pretty happy with it. So I only had the one battery at stock, and it just wasn't enough, didn't give me enough length of time, but having both in here, just wired, wired in simple parallel with the Rover, um, yeah, it's doing a good job, and I really like it. So hopefully that helps, and um, I think I have links to some of the some of the products that I use, including the Sikaflex that I can share. Thanks.